that we received to your award for being nominated for the Roberto Clemente Award. You were there with the Boys and Girls Club, your wife. How special was that just to kind of have it all come to fruition? It was cool. It was a, a surprise to see the Boys and Girls Club there. Um, that was cool. You know, I, we got to know those kids. Um, quite, I've seen them quite a few times now. And then um, having Mary there with me as well, you know, she's just as deserving and not more deserving for for that award. So, um, you know, she's really gone above and beyond. So I was glad to have her by my side. Just now when you think about the results you were able to get, what was working for you at the plate today? Um, yeah, I just, I feel pretty good. I, I feel like I don't have to think so much about, you know, my positioning mechanics and um, it's allowing me to compete in the box a little better and um, make better um, decisions and pitch recognition and things like that and it uh, feels good it's like um, you know it feels uh, like I'm playing free again and um, it's always more fun that way. I got one. <laughs> Since you've been here and your time with this team, you've been in this situation where you've clinched early and kind of have some time to, to get ready for the postseason. So what do you as a position player try to do here these final you know, 10 games or so before you ramp it up for the playoffs? Yeah, we're just uh, we're trying to win ball games. You know, that you can't turn it off and turn it on. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's... Uh, it's, all, it's still the same objective. Nothing changes just because we clinched. Um, trying to win games and um, you know head into the postseason the same way we started.